That would be a great Christmas. Tell some of your friends and family members. All right, and we're running. We have some flyers in the office. In fact, I'll tell them, ushers, would y'all make some flyers? Put some flyers at the table so if somebody wants to get some flyers for our daycare, they can do that. Uh, today, amen, I don't to do that, but uh, today uh, we're putting together a little package, amen, uh, and I'll get a hold of it, uh, Danny, after the service, you can show us the CD set that you all have. Um, actually, it's a part of how uh, to leave your worries behind series, but for the message for today, amen, and last Sunday, uh, two prayers that can change your financial situation, amen, get a copy, now the uh, CDs are normally $5, but we're going to give you a discount, because I want you all to get these two messages on today, <laughs> all right, uh, and I'll tell you about it after I minister what we're going to be. Let me cut across the field some. Uh, I want to share a couple of passages of scripture with you. Amen. Uh, first, let's pray. Lord, we thank you for your great, your joy, your peace, and anoint us to preach your word. We can't do anything without you, but with you, all things are possible. In the strong name of Jesus, we do pray. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Um, Hebrews chapter 4 verses 15 and 16, amen, uh, says that we don't have a savior who's not touched by the feelings of our infirmities, but in all like manners was tempted like us and yet without sin. Therefore, we can come only before the throne of grace and find mercy to help in our time of need. Let's all stand. James chapter two, I'm in James chapter two now, verse two. Y'all still with me? All right, they would be up there. All right. Um, and I did say that. You know what? I gave you all the wrong scripture. It is really James chapter 4, verse 2. Uh -huh. Watch what he says. Um, he says, you lust not and, and have not. You kill and desire to have. And cannot obtain. Ye find, uh, ye fight and, and war, yet ye have not, because ye you have not, because you ask not, ask not. Now, 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 I'll go ahead and, and sandwich this the scripture between the two, because the next verse, of course, he says, you have not, because you ask the midst out of your own selfishness. So as we even begin to talk about uh, uh, things that can change our financial situation, let me be real with y'all. You won't respect me if I'm real. If I'm not real, amen, let me be real and, and suggest to you that that if you want to go to the next level, you ought not want to go just to show I'm all that. You are blessed to be a blessing. Are you with me? Yeah, you're blessed to be a blessing. Amen. Um, I, I like what Rick Warren said. He said, Christians should get all of the money we can so we can give it away <laughs> and be a blessing to someone else. Amen. Now, nothing wrong with you prospering and you having, but at the same time, you don't want to forget, amen, what, what God has for us. Uh, uh, Third John 2 says, I, I wish above all things. Amen. I wish, I pray above all things that thou mightest prosper and be in health even as thy soul my, my will, my mind, my emotions are so prosperous. So he says that my prayer for you is that you prosper by this, in the same way Amen. And at the same distance that your mind, your will, your desires, amen, your emotions prosper. Amen. So, so in order, watch this now, in order for you to prosper, even as you pray these prayers, you've got to pray the prayer, Lord, help my mind prosper. Help me prosper in understanding finances so that I can be a better steward over what you give me. I'm not going to tell y'all you just going to pray one prayer and everything else is going to change. You need to start praying that God would give me more wisdom and take more time to understand finances. Are y'all still with me? All right, let's learn our prayer today. Amen. This this, this second prayer, last week we, we, we were in Psalm, amen, 134, and when he says, uh, uh, 
This is the day that the Lord has made, and thou shalt rejoice, amen, and be glad. Then he says, send prosperity now. Somebody say, send prosperity now. Amen. It's in prosperity now. Now we're in First Chronicles chapter 4. A prayer that some of you all are familiar with. Amen. And, 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 and we want to hopefully bring some other insight and hopefully have you begin lifting this up. How many of y'all are familiar with the J-Bass prayer? Alright, so hopefully we can give you some other insight and it might be time. This 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 prayer your people across the country they prayed it for like 40 days and it blessed them. You will learn this prayer today. It says and Jabez, this is all we know about Jabez, what is shared in these two verses. It says and Jabez was more what you are honorable than his brother and his mother called his name what Jabez saying because I bore him, bear him with sorrow or pain. Amen. And Jabez called on the God of Israel saying, oh that thou wouldest bless me. Bless me indeed. And enlarge my coast or territory. And that my hand might be with me. And that thou is keep me from evil that it may not grieve me and God granted what he thought about God granted what he needed now God granted his request are y'all with me? alright you can be seated in the presence of God Y'all help me put this train in second gear so we can, amen. <laughs> you know, our next service. Get your neighbor by the hand and say, neighbor. Yes. Amen. Today, Today, we're going to learn yes. from this thought, yes. two prayers, yes. that can change yes. your financial situation. Yes. Amen. Yes. How many of y'all heard the song, Lord, you're good and your mercy endureth forever? How many? Lord, you are good and you endureth forever. Powerful, powerful. Amen. Amen. And then another one would uh, rejoice. As I begin thinking about that, I begin to read and, and, and share. Uh, when we were in Phoenix, some of us took a trip to Phoenix a little bit ago. And I just kind of really blessed the ministry of our, our good friend, Pastor Reginald Steele there. Amen. Johns, amen. That's friend growing up. Uh, they were sharing that uh, this 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 renowned writer was helping them in some music arrangements and helping them with some music. And later on, I began to read uh, his story. His mother was pregnant uh, at the age of 17, unmarried. His mother was white. His father was black. Uh, the parents were not excited. Her parents were not excited about the pregnancy. She was white. The father to be was black. Amen. And this happened in 1971 in a small town. They, they, they gave her an ultimatum. They said, you either get rid of the baby or get out. Amen. And she chose the child. Uh, 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 being very, very gifted, a uh, 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 promising pianist, she went up to San Diego and spent some time there. After eight months, you all, amen, uh, uh, she would begin to battle with a drug addiction. But one day, she saw a lady, amen, on the street that told her about the love and forgiveness of Jesus. She must have been from Liberty, y'all. Amen. And, 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 and that day, she made a decision, amen, for Christ. And, and uh, the, the, the lady, amen, uh, uh, gave her a Bible. And as she began to flip through her Bible, she saw, amen, uh, she saw the name Israel. And, and so she said to herself, I'm going to name my baby uh, Israel. <laughs> amen. And uh, 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 then, amen, at that moment, she didn't know a lot about the Bible. She didn't really know God real well. She didn't really know how to pray. But she prayed, listen, you all, a bold prayer. Amen. She lifted, amen, at that time, she lifted up her hands and said, God, I'm committing my child to you. And I'm asking you to use him to do great things. Amen. Amen. She prayed that prayer. And the team, uh, uh, the, the team's mother, and, and 
big mama sat down. She said, Mama, are you okay? What's going on with you? The bus driver called me and he said, You look like somebody's trying to follow you or something's going on. And you don't even, even know what's going on. My, mama, what's, what's, what's going on with you? Are you okay? Do you need to go to the doctor? She said, Mama, I, I don't want to hurt your feelings, but let me break the news. There's nobody in that chair next to you. And Mama said, Yes, it is, baby. She said, Mama, maybe you need to go. She said, oh, baby, baby, get my mind. <laughs> and, and they brought the Bible to Mama. And, and she said, turn to Psalm 23. And when they turned to Psalm 23, she said, start around verse 4. And it said, yeah, do I walk through the valley and the shadow of death?
He, he can help me with me also on that powerful movie, Antoine Fisher. He was abused and misused. Amen. But instead of it letting him bring him down, he used it. Ben's writing books all over the country as a blessing. And one day he came back and confronted his abusers and haters. Can I tell you something? The best revenge is success. You couldn't help me. But instead, you beat me to dust, and you? Well, I don't know what you're talking yes, about. Yes, you do. I'm six years old. Now, you just listen. No, you listen to me. No, I think you're the God. I think you forgot. I said, listen to me. This is my time. You understand me? It don't matter what you tried to do. You couldn't destroy me. I'm still standing. I'm still strong. You look at Eva and say, Eva, the enemy tried to kill me. I should have been dead a long time ago, but this is my time. I'm still set. I need about 20 people in here that been through some hell and high waters. I want all the people in here that have more going out than you had coming in. And somehow, Keep me from evil that I might not cause pain. 